Yo, what is up YouTube? Coming at you guys with a banger of a video. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing the Razer Viper V3 Hyperspeed. Um, a mouse I'm sure you guys never expected me to review, considering that I have not posted a video in over a year. But, you know, we're back at it, and um, you guys will be pleased to know that I have not left the mouse market. You know, I've, I've been keeping up to date with uh, the latest mouse developments. And, I'm, and I have several thoughts about this mouse, having used it for about a month. Um, in fact, I've been using this quite a bit as my, you know, main-ish mouse. I've had a lot of work with school and stuff, so I've actually been using it for productivity as well. Um, so I have a lot of thoughts, and uh, I'm just going to get the real quick stuff out of the way. This mouse is built really, really well, um, except, you know, it has the typical razor issue where the clicks can kind of, they'll start grinding after a little bit, especially on the, the left mouse button. Um, they'll grind laterally after a little bit. Uh, you know, typical razor issue. It sucks, but it doesn't. It's not a problem in game at all. Uh, the clicks don't have any pre-travel or anything. So, if you don't do this with your mouse click, you won't notice this issue at all. Um, the side buttons, everything feels great. The coating, one of the best coatings in my opinion. Um, it's the same coating I think on the Death Death Adder Wired, even though I never had that mouse. Uh, the skates are great. Uh, the one thing to note is that this mouse takes double A's, uh, but with an adapter, you can get the weight down. And I'm currently using a USB-C AAA in a AA adapter, uh, which means that I can just recharge this battery whenever I need to. And uh, yeah, I, the weight is probably like 70 grams, which is perfectly fine. So that's all the physical, tangible stuff out of the way. Um, also, the sensor performance is great. I've been using it with the 4K dongle with no issues at all. So yeah, I want to talk about the shape real quick. And I want to talk about some of my thoughts on mouse shape. Um, after having used a bunch of mice for so long, uh, I have a few opinions and, you know, obviously take my opinions with a grain of salt. Um, I am a 19 by 11 handed claw gripper. Uh, and this is how I, gri I grip my mice. I kind of just put my mount, my hand on the mouse and I do this triangle configuration with my fingers. So that's my grip. That's my hand size. So I want to talk about this mouse shape really quick. Um, and the reason why I'm reviewing this is because I thought this shape would be amazing. Um, I looked at the shape, it's kind of like a G Pro that's a little bit more curvy and aggressive, and um, I thought this mouse shape would be really, really good, so I sprung and got it. But there's one thing, there's one specific feature that this mouse is missing, and um, it's not actually missing, but it doesn't work for my grip, in my opinion. Um, I've been thinking about what I like about certain mouse shapes after, you know, using a bunch of different mice for a long time, and a few things come to mind. I mean, I like a big, big hump for claw grip. Um, I like when my pinky can, is not too recessed into the mouse, so um, the most recessed mouse pinky sort of configuration I would ever consider is something like the Viper Mini, and even then, this isn't super comfortable after a long lot of gaming. Um, I've noticed that I can cramp up sometimes when using the Viper Mini, even though I do aim really, really well with this mouse. Um, so yeah, I like my pinky to be comfortably supported. Um, the hump needs to fill my, my palm. And the last feature is actually the, the ring finger front flare. Um, and this is going to sound a little bit weird, or maybe it's not, but my ring finger needs to be able to uh, fully control the, the mouse, for lack of better words. Uh, for example, on the G Pro X Superlight, when I get my ring finger up here, it's perfectly nestled into the top corner of the mouse, and I can basically fully exert any sort of control I want in any direction. Um, with the NP01S, I can pretty much do the same thing, though it's not quite as, as comfortable. Um, and with the Viper Mini, I can do the same thing as well. Um, this mouse is small enough so that the front flare means that I can really get my ring finger up to control the mouse. Um, unfortunately, with the Viper V3, I can't, I just can't do that. Uh, the mouse is just a little bit too long, it's a little bit too big for my hands, and I have pretty decently big hands. So, uh, using this mouse, it's fine. I mean, it feels comfortable, it is super, super comfortable to use. Um, I just, I just don't feel as consistent with it in game, like it feels like I don't have as much control with it. Um, that's all I can really say. And I will tell you, if you have bigger hands, I would say this mouse is actually probably really, really good. 
Um, if you have bigger hands and you have a ring finger that can extend, you know, up into this up into this flare because it kind of flattens out at the top, um, this mouse will probably work exceptionally well for you. Um, but with my hand size at like 19 and a half by 11, it does not work particularly well, or it doesn't work as well as some of my other mice. And with that out of the way, I'm just going to do a quick shape. I'm going to digress quickly into the shape, which it's pretty much just a G Pro with front flares and a flared out base, a more flared out base. That's really all I can say about it. Um, it fills the palm a little bit better than the G Pro, um, but the flares are certainly more aggressive. And uh, again, you know, you don't get as much control with the ring finger if your hand isn't bigger than mine. Or, sorry, <laughs> if your hand is as big as mine or smaller. So. Yeah, not a whole lot else to talk about with this mouse. I think it's a really great option for bigger hands. Um, it is super, super comfortable. The coating is great. Everything is there. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if they release a wired or pro model. And those will be really great mice to use. But, you know, I think overall shape-wise, I think the G Pro takes the cake in this, in this specific case for my specific grip. And um, I'm going to be talking about the G Pro as well, as, as a matter of fact, because this is the G Pro 2. And um, I have a few thoughts about this mouse. So, yeah, uh, that's all I have in this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys have any requests for mice or uh, if you have any, you know, if you have any questions or anything, just drop a comment and I'd be happy to respond to it. And, you know, hopefully I can get some more videos out in the coming future. And uh, if you guys have any ideas, you know, just let me know what you want to see. I keep this channel mostly for fun. Um, don't do anything super serious so you know with work and school it's been hard to upload so yeah just let me know what you guys want to see if you have any questions and i'll see you guys in the next